y'all good morning from guam we're on a solo mission today no charters going on everyone else is at work so i'm at work this is my work all right captain solo captain ken gonna go out today and uh, try and make it happen see if we can get some fish on the deck today just me I haven't gone fishing by myself in a while. Uh, hopefully it should be fun and safe today. Keep you guys posted on the action. All right guys, setting up lines. I think I'm only gonna run three today I'm by myself. So I'll be safer that way. All right, got our line set up. Wish me luck. Later. All right, this has been a very slow morning of fishing for me. I have been trolling for about two hours now and I haven't even gotten one strike. No fish, no bite, nothing. So I'm changing out the lures now. I'm thinking it's just the tide, you know? I'm fishing the low tide right now. Uh, Wahoo fishing is a lot more promising on high tides. Uh, the only reason why I'm still out here is because I know the low is going to come high. So eventually in that tide change, when it's rising, that's when I think I should be getting some fish. Uh, yeah, just updating you guys because this has been a horrible, horrible morning so far. I mean, it's beautiful out here, but the fishing sucks. All right. So this video is to show you fishing ain't always great out here, guys. A lot of times it just sucks, but it's my profession, so I'm out here at work. This is how I make a living for my family. So I have no choice, all right? Wish me luck. All right, we're hooked up, baby, on the double. Here we go. I got that. Gotta check the stinger. Hopefully the lure's still there. That's the hundred percenter. All right, we got the lure back. Looks like it was just crushed. So they didn't really get hooked on the straw hook. I don't know why I prefer to run double hooks for Wahoo. Is it? Hundred percenter. I'm gonna change the lure though. I don't really want to lose this. It was a gift, so we're gonna another gift now. Hopefully, it gets stuck this time. We're on, baby. I'm 
take him in the middle. He's trying to cross all the lines right now, guys. We're gonna have to get him in the middle. Alright, watch. Just like that, guys. Just like that. All right, as you can see, the line was tangled, but you gotta be a good captain, a good angler, and make that decision to grab the fish on the other side. You didn't want to swim this way, I had to get him in the middle, right between the motors, right behind the wire line. Perfectly executed. Oh, I'm just happy to get another fish on the boat. Slow morning of fishing, guys. Let's look at that beautiful fish. Just hit another bubble. Didn't get to get any of that on video, but we got the fish in the boat. Now the GoPro's working again. Let's see if we can get lucky. I'm gonna pass the same spot one more time. And uh, if we hook up, I'll be sure to record it this time. Hopefully the GoPro turns on. We're trouble, let's go. Let's go, double trouble, baby. Got a strike there and a strike here. None of them stuck. Let's find out what's going on. Here we go.
Got two out of that three. You know what time it is. I don't know. We got two out of that three though. We'll reset the lines, turn around, see if we can do it again. Check out the weather we're dealing with here. Good thing I got a hard top on this pole. Because it's freezing out there. Woo! Check out this weather. It's all for you, YouTube. <laughs> Double it up, baby, here we go. Hanapa! Check it out, we're tripled up in the storm, baby. Woo! Let's go! to get that out all right we got both fish in the boat that's how we do it i gotta take out the hooks reset and go back again and i'm soaking wet so something you gotta learn from this guys uh two hours into this video i told you oh man fishing's horrible right now 
I don't know what's going on. Is it me? Is it my lures? Did the fish leave the area that they've been in past week? Or what did I say next? Is it the tide? It's the tide, obviously. We're at the top, the peak of the high tide right now. And hey, the fish won't stop biting. How awesome is that? Anyway, I hope some of you guys watching get some education out of this and give credit where it's due. You feel me? Uh, I'm gonna reset the lines, head back up and see if we can get a couple more. Triple it up again, here we go. That's one. Here's the second one. Work on number three over here. Pick it up. All right, I got a turn. We're a little bit too shallow. Hopefully the fish don't come up on the turn. back here guys it's gonna be a while and the problem is we're aiming pretty shallow so i'm gonna have to keep running and turning out every time i do that though i risk losing the fish let's turn one more time It looks like it gets tangled in something, I don't know. I think so. I think it's tangled. To be honest, I don't even know if the fish is still there or it's just tangled. We're gonna find out though. Oh, it could be a big one swimming deep. So let's hope it's a big one swimming deep. Okay, I can throw the fish. 
I don't know if he's tangled, we're gonna find out. That's how we do it. Shut up and fish Guam.com. You know what time it is. And just like that, we got all three fish in the boat, guys. Check it out. I think they're triplets. Now time to load them in the cooler. Looking a little full here, but we're gonna try and fit them in. All right, guys, that sums up this episode of Shut Up and Fish Guam. Thanks for watching my solo adventure today. I think it's time I bring up the line and start heading in. It's getting dark and there's a lot of people waiting for me at the dock for some fresh fish. So once again, thank you for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Because I promise you, we are going to try our best to get you a lot more content coming. Like every week at least, something like that. I don't know. I'm trying my best. As you can see, I'm out here by myself to make this video for you. All right? Take care, God bless.